Hi, I'm Nina and this is Intrinsic. I'm passionate about organic learning and created this channel to help you weave more of that into your life. Whether you are a homeschooler or you are just supplementing a public education, weaving more of that into your routine will help your child's intrinsic motivation drive their education. And today I'm going to share a game school resource called Clumsy Thief. Okay, so Clumsy Thief is a card game. It's actually three different card games. There's Clumsy Thief, Clumsy Thief Junior, and Clumsy Thief in the Candy Shop. They're card games that you are working on fluency of adding up to a specific number. Clumsy Thief Junior is adding up to 10, and Clumsy Thief in the Candy Shop adding up to 20, and the regular Clumsy Thief is adding up to 100. We were first exposed to this game from the Game School Facebook page. But then after she played it at Knox Academy, she loved it so much that she wanted to get all of the games. They had played more than one in the class. And so I told her she could earn them once she mastered the addition facts from one game that I would buy the next one for her. And we actually ended up getting all three uh, Clumsy Thief and the two other games, Check the Fridge and Check the Oven, that that company also makes. And I can do a review on that later on. And if I have done it, I'll link it there and in the description. We have a lot of fun playing this game. You have these cards and match them up with the number that they go with. The Clumsy Thief Junior, for the youngest, those pictures will match and that will help them recognize the numbers that add up to 10. This is a really important foundational step because as you learn to add bigger numbers, being able to quickly know what will get to 10 will help you know how many is left over to keep in the ones column. It will help you regroup and do that mental math. And for a game to be appealing and have the kids want to play, it's gotta have either the mechanics or a theme that draws them in. And this wins on both with my daughter. So, these are the Clumsy Thief games. They each add up to a different number. This is Clumsy Thief Junior. It adds up to 10. This is Clumsy Thief Candy Shop. It adds up to 20. And this is Clum and this is Clumsy Thief. It's just normal Clumsy Thief. It adds up to 100. So this is for ages four and up, and these, and these two are for ages eight and up. Like, they're really fun games. They're really fast paced. The raccoon cards in Clumsy Thief Junior, they steal things. Bucket cards stop the raccoon. And these two have thief and jail cards. Thief cards, they steal either candy in this game or money in this one. It's a really fun game. How you play Clumsy Thief in the candy shop is make candy card stacks that add up to 20. And you can use some cards to steal cards from other players' decks. At first I used papers that had a list of, uh, of what adds up to 20, and I won the game without using my papers to remind me what adds up to 20. All the Clumsy Thief games are really fun. They teach you what adds up to 10, 20, and 100. This one's the trickiest because it adds up to such a big number. Shuffle the cards thoroughly. Deal each player seven cards face down. Look at your cards and create separate candy stacks on the table in front of you. And a candy stack starts with two cards that add up to exactly 20. The two cards are stacked face up one on top of the other. First, all players must make all possible candy stacks and make them face up on the table. If no one can make a stack, all players take another card from the center deck. Next, the dealer says go. Um, we'll, we'll not have the dealer say go in, in this. Okay. Next, someone says go and players may take candy stacks from other players using the cards in their hands. You don't take turns. There are three ways to take a stack. You may take a candy stack from another player in, in your hand and the top card in the stack must add up to exactly 20. 
you add only one card to the top card, then take the entire stack. For example, if you have a card in your hand with a 4 on it, and a stack on the table has a card with a 16 on top, you can place your card and slide the entire stack over to your side of the table. Another player with the 16 card could slide onto his or her side of the table. Any thief card lets you take any candy stack from any player. Thief cards can also take candy stacks already taken by another thief. More than one thief card can be on top of a stack. A jail card tops only a thief card and takes the whole stack. You may top your own thief card to prevent other players from taking your stack. No card can top a jail card. You may also place a card from your hand onto your own stack and the top card of your stack adds up to 20. Before the snatching begins, all players must all possible stacks and put them face up on the table. On go, a new round of snatching begins. The game ends when the center of deck cards runs out. There aren't enough cards for all players to replenish their hands to seven cards. Anyone still holding cards turns them face down and discards them. Players must count their candy cards. Thief and jail cards don't count. The player with the most candy cards wins. Got it? Mm -hmm. And if you're interested in more resources, check my link below. I have a list of different games and manipulatives and shows and things that we use that make learning fun. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to Intrinsic because meaningful learning is driven by desire from within. The passions within me Cause I'm intrinsic